Arthur Quinn, so you must be. I, I'm pretty sure that's the way it goes. Martha Quinn, Paul Stanley. And Paul Stanley has a new album with the band Kiss. In fact, this is the first time anybody is going to see what the album's going to look like. It's due out in the middle of September. Let's take a look Let's at it. Let's take a look at it. Those are a couple of animals that got caught on the San Diego freeway. Oh, <laughs> they don't have lions out there and zebras. Animal eyes, and there is something special about it, and they, you uh, have officially gotten credit as producer for the album. Yeah, I'm glad about that, but at the same time, it also means that um, I had to sign all the lunch bills while everybody was playing pool, so <laughs> it's got its ups and its downs, but it was fun. Yeah. As the producer of the album, what kind of sound were you going for? Well, I wanted to give people a sonic lobotomy, so I think basically that's what it does. When, when the record's over, hopefully you either have no hair or you're forgetting your name, so... And that's the definition of a sonic lobotomy? I would hope so. But do you know any other kind? <laughs> no. How do you think it compares to the past Kiss album? Well, it's better. You know, hopefully everything you do is better than what you did before. So probably Lick It Up was um, animalized and more of an infancy, mm -hmm. you know, something that we built up to. Would you say this is the best album that you've done? Would I lie? Of course it's the best album we've ever done. Go buy it. <laughs> Now, the last time I saw you, you had finished the album. It was going to be at the record company the next day, like 1 o'clock. Right. And then, actually, then another time I saw you, and you were back in the studio. Would you consider yourself a perfectionist? Yeah, neurotic's another word for it. After I heard the record just before it was about to be uh, put into production, I listened to it and I said, it's just not making it yet. You know, let's go back in and remix some stuff. So that's basically what we did. So I'm talking like a matter of hours that's before right. the record company was expecting it. Tell me about a tour. Our tour starts in America probably right after Thanksgiving, and we'll do um, Europe September 30th. We'll go over there and do about six or seven weeks mm -hmm. over there. And that should be a lot of fun. That was great. And there's a new member. That's right. Mark. Yeah, Mark. Mark's on the album. Mark St. John joined us right after, let's see, right after the American tour. Mm -hmm. So he's uh, flailing away on the record. He's great. He's going to a lot of people on. Well, of course, we have to talk about video, and we're going to do that. I know you have a new one that'll be coming out from the album, and we're going to talk about that in a little bit, so you can stay with us. I'm going to stay around as long as you want. <laughs> we have more video right here. In fact, Paul, why don't you announce this one? This one's uh, Robert Plant, Big Hero, Big Log. Barely needs any introduction, Paul. Do it anyway. I love hearing my name. Paul Stanley. Right. From Kiss. Right. Um, we were talking about the new album, Animalized, which is due out mid-September. Right. I think it's uh, about se September 17th. I think. September 17th. Yeah. All right. And the first video is Heavens on Fire. Tell me a little bit about the new Kiss video. Well, you know, we've done different kinds of videos, and I think we reached a point where we were kind of tired of um, getting involved in videos where you wind up trying to remake Raiders of the Lost Ark for video <laughs> for two and a half minutes. And... Um, you know, you meet a lot of video directors, and a lot of these guys have an idea that they're Steven Spielberg. And I just didn't think that we wanted to be bit players in somebody's movie. So we decided, since we built our reputation as a live band, we let everybody get a chance to see us sweating. And um, that's basically what we did. So we shot a lot of live stuff, and then we had a little party to celebrate afterwards, and we shot that too. And whatever we could show on TV is going to be in the video. <laughs> now tell me, was this, we have a couple of pieces of the video, and was this, the live part or was this the party part? Let's just go right to it here. Oh, uh, that's me uh, auditioning for the circus. <laughs> Danger is my business. That's me jumping through a hoop of fire. Now, how many times did you have to actually do that? Um, let's see, that was the first time. After I got through once, I said once was enough. You got through the first time? Oh, yeah. And yeah. you mentioned earlier about your hair being on fire. Was it really? Not really, but it sure felt it because the flames they were a lot bigger than they really looked on the uh, video. All right, so that's the new one, Heavens on Fire from Animal Eyes, and then you're going out on tour when in November? Yeah, after we should. Yeah, we'll do do America pretty much right after we eat our turkey. All right, and I should also mention that All Hell's Breaking Loose is nominated for Best Cinematography in the MTV Video Awards. I've already written a speech, so <laughs> let's make sure that we win. All right, we've got more video right after this. Paul, thanks for coming by.